everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so and welcome to another episode of my spring cleaning series so i started it yesterday and i am like pumped because i don't know if you guys can see but look how good this room looks i took out the dog kennel over there so this space is just open the dog kennel is still there i have to take it apart um and the rest of that is stuff that needs to go upstairs but like the couch is nice and clean and I know there's no garbage under the couch. The coffee table looks nice. The shelves look nice and organized. A little bare, but hopefully I'll be fixing that this weekend. Um, but yeah, everything just looks so good. I still need to like wipe down the walls and do the windows and stuff, but that's another like a part two of the TV room. So. But, I also have that side to do yet. I did that bookshelf, but I still need to do like under there and go through the toys, disinfect the toys and all that good stuff. So, I chose my balloon already. <laughs> this is like super nerve wracking because there's a lot of rooms that I just don't even want to do. But, I'm going to. I'm going to do this, you guys. So, three, two, one. Alright, where did my piece of paper go? Oh, okay, so TV room number one. <laughs> totally unplanned, but that works out because then Lucas can go downstairs and play and I can get my cleaning done. So, that works out perfectly. <laughs> I did not plan that. Okay, so on my to-do list today is to vacuum under my reading chair, go through Lucas's toys, throw out, throw out any like broken toys. Um, I'm going to disinfect all of his toys. So I did bring down my Lysol wipes um, just to make that, that go a little bit smoother. Um, and then I'm just going to vacuum everything else. I kind of already did like an organization of his bookshelves here. As you can see, they're already color coded. Um, and then I got these new bins at Walmart, as you probably saw in my Walmart haul. Um, those are pretty much going to be kept the same. I am going to go through them one more time, make sure I purged all of the books that we don't want, and um, purged all of the toys that are either like torn up or broken or he doesn't play with. Um, and yeah, so, and then of course his train table there I know there are some broken pieces in there that I need to clean out so this should be pretty easy um, so hopefully I will be able to get it done today not hopefully I will be able to get it done today <laughs> I started off by disinfecting Lucas's toys. I was using Lysol wipes. I do recommend if you're going to use Lysol wipes to either wear gloves or maybe like do the spray and a rag instead of directly using the wipes right on your hands. My hands are so dried out and like red from these wipes um, so I do recommend having some kind of protection or go and use like the seventh generation brand or something that's just a little bit nicer to your hands when you're cleaning up these toys um, because it is not fun to have dry scaly hands and no matter what you do any kind of lotion that you use does not work to <laughs> make those a little bit better let me know down in the comments if you guys are the same way and what lotions you guys use to kind of cure that problem
once I got done disinfecting his toys and wiping off all of the surfaces and everything in his play area, I went ahead and started vacuuming and then trying to rearrange his toys so they fit a little bit better and so it looks a little bit nicer. As soon as I got done with that, then I went ahead and went into my reading corner, which just needed a little tidying up just like from vacuuming under the couch and trying to figure out where I'm going to put all of those pillows. Um, you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about. <laughs> As I am going through this series, I am washing all of our blankets as well. I am using the Tide Original Scent and the Method Ginger Mango Fabric Softener. Um, if you guys have not tried any fabric softener from Grove Collaborative, I definitely recommend it, especially this Method Ginger Mango. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. I love smelling it on my blankets. I love walking into my laundry room and smelling it. It's just, it's just so clean smelling. It's just amazing. You guys just have to try it. Um, if you do want to go ahead and check it out, follow the link down below to get some great goodies with your order. Alright guys, so I decided today that I'm not going to do like anything with the windows. I'm going to wait until it's a tad bit warmer out. <laughs> um, so I am in Des Moines, Iowa. It is zero degrees right now and we have a wind chill advisory so it's probably like, I don't know, let me take a stab, negative 20. Like it wouldn't surprise me if that's what the wind chill was. I didn't actually check. So I'm not going to do the windows right now. I'm going to wait until probably actually spring. And I'll be cleaning out like the roofs of the window. I have this cool little brush tool that I'm really excited to use. Um, so let me know if you guys actually want to see that. Um, if you want me to film that. I'll probably do like all of the windows at one time. So let me know if that's something that you guys want to see. Otherwise, I'll probably just going to do it when I'm done with the spring cleaning series. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this second video of finishing up my TV room. Um, I'm really happy with it. I'm really like excited to keep going. And yeah, I feel like we didn't get rid of a whole lot of stuff today. But I think as I keep on going that more and more stuff is going to be leaving this house <laughs> so anyway so make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on my spring cleaning series and my other mommy vlog type videos um and i will see you guys in my next one bye